Greg of Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a load trail CH14. It's a 14,000 pound equipment trailer. Shown here is a 7 by 22 foot. So as shown here would be what we would consider a standard equipment trailer. Technically there would be a few options on this, but again, how we would equip it, these would all be standard features. So let's take a walk around the trailer. We'll show you all the features that come on the trailer. So with most equipment trailers, 14,000 pound, it's gonna have a six inch channel tongue and main frame. So again, it is a full wrap tongue, wraps the whole way back to the spring hangers. And then again, six inch channel on the main frame. So it's got an adjustable cast coupler up front. Notice uh, cast not stamped. Cast can be a little bit heavier duty. Of course, it's got your uh, safety chains and your breakaway cable and whatnot. And one of the only things that we would not equip with this, that this one here is shown with, would be the cold weather harness. That's something that we chose to do on this one. Cold weather harness just stays flexible down to lower temperatures. I believe negative 60, I believe in this case, is what that was rated for. So this is the 12K jack option. Uh, again, this would be how we would spec this trailer. Standard, a couple nice details, put a grease zert on the jack and then on the bar extension as well. If you've never had a 12K jack, you'd simply pull the handle here. It is spring assisted. I uh, put your foot on it, it'll take it down to the ground. Of course, in the up position, you just pull the handle there out, it'll spring up in. So that would be the same style jack that'd be in your gooseneck style trailers. Nice heavy duty, certainly more than capable of uh, lifting that trailer, even if you are uh, loaded up. Just to put in perspective, tongue weight on the trailer is normally about 15%. Uh, 14,000 pound trailer, that jack shouldn't see more than about 2,000 to 3,000 pound of weight and it's got a 10K lift, 12K static capacity. So moving on back to the trailer, uh, this one's got all LED lights. Uh, they are in grommets, so grommeted light will certainly take some hits. Uh, stake pockets, standard, and then also uh, D-ring for tie downs. So this 232 protected, Low Trail does a kind of unique warranty program. They cover the whole trailer for two years, three year on the structure, and then they do a two year roadside assist. That covers both your truck and your trailer for things like uh, running out of fuel, if you need hydraulic fluid, uh, if you get locked out of your vehicle, so forth and so on. Pretty neat program that they do in this particular unit. So two by eight pressure treated flooring. Underneath the uh, two by eight treated flooring is a 16 inch on center, three inch structural channel cross member. So while channel cross members are generally industry standard on a 14K. Some manufacturers do still do a 24 center. Also, some do a little bit lighter form cross member. This is the old school structural channel. Let me give you a little shot underneath to show you. I think it goes without uh, mention that uh, it is painted on the underside. Believe it or not, there's still some that don't, but uh, these are painted all the way through. And again, it is three inch channel cross members. So I'll show you a couple more little details on this. Gladiator tires are standard. Gladiators are uh, nationwide, pretty well known. Uh, most trailer tires, let's face it, do come out of China, but this is one of your better brand uh, tires from what we've experienced. It's also got the Dexter brand axles with the never adjust brakes. Uh, never adjust similar to a car style braking system. It forward adjusts those brakes for you so that you've never got to adjust them. Kind of kind of neat setup. It's been out for a while now. It's standard equipment on this particular unit. So again, you wouldn't need your brakes serviced. Uh, likewise on these, if you pull the black cap off behind there, there's a grease zert uh, where you can service your own bearings. So your brakes are self-sufficient. Your bearings are uh, very simple to maintain with the average, average tooling, flat bladed screwdriver and a grease gun. Uh, as this is a 14k trailer, it's going to have a 235-80 R16 load range E 10 ply tire, and again, it is the Gladiator tires. This does have the slipper spring suspension. If you're not familiar, uh, the slipper spring in between there. It's going to be heavier duty than an eye to eye type suspension. That is standard equipment on this particular unit. It's also got double broke tread plate fenders. If you're not familiar, double broke meaning two bends going to be stronger than a fender with one so again a little bit heavier fender and then also it's going to have the removable fenders front and back simply pull a uh, pull a nut and a bolt off and you can have your fender off 
Occasionally some folks will say, why a removable fender? Why does that pertain to me? Uh, certainly a lot easier to replace a fender if need be. Also, if you ever want to fork something on from the side, it can reduce your height down uh, to the top of the tire uh, where you can fork something on from the side. Uh, also gives you the ability to open up a car door, uh, particularly a low profile car door. Uh, this is equipped with the black mod wheels, gives it a little bit of a, a blackout look to the trailer. So of course the, uh, the main frame is painted in black, the wheels on this are also powder coated black. Well, speaking of powder coating, this trailer is powder coated and uh, Load Trail did introduce a zinc primer or a powder coat primer. Uh, gives some extra longevity uh, to the powder coat. Not to mention we also find Load Trail's powders put on a little bit thicker uh, than some of our other manufacturers. Uh, nice thick powder and then of course with these now it's also got the powder coat primer on it. So you notice this has the five foot stand up ramps. A lot of our uh, a lot of our equipment trailers or I should say we delineate equipment by having the stand up ramps but most of our trailers this size and weight rating are going to have the equipment stand ups. So these are spring assisted down below. I'll show you that in a second. They also put a knife edge on the end of the ramp so it's not a blunt edge. Kind of a neat idea. Uh, also, instead of the channel pressing into mud or whatnot, uh, they cap the end of the channel to give you some extra support if it's muddy out. And there is your spring assist. They also give you the gusting going back to the ramp. So again, all sealed beam LEDs. Coming back to the back of the trailer, it does have a two foot beaver tail. Uh, I noticed they do put a gusset on the beaver tail. Not all manufacturers do that, give some extra support in that critical area. So of course this trailer does have reflector tape, front to back. It's also got the pinstriping which gives it a nice neat look. Tie downs on this, you're going to have your stake pockets and your D-rings. Also got a handful of D-rings up front and stake pockets going down the side of the trailer. It's got your stop turn tails at the corners, your marker lights in the center. Notice the adjustability on the ramp, you can go in and out about give or take 10 or 12 inches. Standard ramps on these are five foot and then with your uh, with your transition on the end they're gonna measure about five and a half feet overall. This trailer does come in different lengths. This is a 22 and you go longer than a 22 it's gonna jump to an eight inch frame. It's also available in a gooseneck model. Uh, we do stock goosenecks but generally in longer lengths. Something this short would generally pretty much always be a tag trailer. There are a handful of options available on this, however, as you see it here, would be how most of these are going to go out equipped. If you have any questions, feel free to check us out on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. You can always give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.